13 nieces and nephews that are under 10, which is rough on my dogs, I gotta be true to you. But what we do is everything that the adults cook and eat, that's what the kids cook and eat. And there's never an option in my house. Never ever. And so I have a 25 year old son who is a very adventurous eater and loves food. And I have 13 ne uh, nieces and nephews from actually from ages 2 to 16 that love food. And we garden together and we plant all the vegetables together. Then we, we come in the house and we cook them together and then we eat them together. So I think the best way to cook with kids is to get them involved and make sure that they try everything that the adults try. And just like the way I grew up 72 years ago, um, <laughs> there, there was one meal on the table. It was the one that my mom put up there and we didn't get to leave the table until the food was gone. And then at the end, we did the dishes. <laughs> And that's exactly how I raised my son, and that's exactly how uh, we, we do it with our nephews and stuff. But I think the best thing to do with kids is get in the garden with them, get in the kitchen with them. Yeah. Even if the food seems complex, they'll still embrace the situation. And the worst thing that could happen is they don't like it, and we just move on to something else. Let's stay up here. It's nice okay, I like it up here too better, Carla. Too better. I got <laughs> yes? flour all over myself. Uh, I have salt all over me.